Hello, karibu ndio kujifunza na hapa tunaendelea na somo la 26, lesson 26. Na katika lesson 26 kuna kitu kimoja tutakachojifunza ambacho kinapatikana kwa namna mbili. Kwa kuna neno moja ambalo ni must, lakini pia kuna haya maneno have to. Yote haya yana maana moja katika sentence. Lakini tuangalie sasa maana yake kupitia mifano tulio nayo. Tuanze na mfano wa kwanza ambao ni you must be careful. You must be careful inamaanisha lazima uwe makini au sharti uwe makini au ya kupasa uwe makini au huna budi kuwa makini au wengine wanasema hauna budi kuwa makini. You must be careful about what you say about what you say inamaanisha kuhusu nini unasema au namna nyingine ni sana kusema kuhusu unachosema lakini ambapo ukitumia about au of yote inaleta maana ile ile lakini kwa kawaida hiki kipande chote kwa kiswahili tunaweza tukasema unatakiwa kuwa makini au lazima uwe makini na unachosema kwa hiyo hii about na of hayata tafsiriwa kama neno moja moja ambavyo linatafsiriwa itatafsiriwa tu moja kwa moja kwa kuweka ile neno na unachosema about what you say kwa hiyo you must be careful about what you say au you must be careful of what you say itamaanisha lazima uwe makini na unachosema au lazima uwe makini kuhusu unachosema when you are angry when you are angry inamaanisha unapokuwa na hasira au unapokuwa umekasirika kwa hiyo kwa pamoja tunapata you must be careful about what you say when you are angry lazima uwe makini na unachokisema unapokuwa na hasira au you must be careful of what you say when you are angry lazima uwe makini au sharti uwe makini na unachosema unapokuwa na hasira au unapokuwa umekasirika na mfano mwingine ni hapa wa pili mfano wa pili example 2 tunapata to help you they have to help you they have to help you inamaanisha lazima wakusaidie kwa haya maneno mawili have to ni sawa na must kwa hiyo ungeza kuyaondoa haya ukaweka must na ukapata they must help you ambayo inamaanisha pia lazima wakusaidie au shall to wakusaidie they must help you lakini pia they have to help you ni ile ile lazima wakusaidie because kwa sababu they are your friends they are your friends inamaanisha wao ni marafiki zako they are your friends au kwa kifupi tu utasema ni marafiki zako kwa pamoja they have to help you because they are your friends lazima wakusaidie kwa sababu wao ni marafiki zako au sharti wakusaidie kwa sababu wao ni marafiki zako they have to help you because they are your friends au they must help you because they are your friends lakini pia kama utakumbuka have to ni sawa sana have got to kwa hiyo hapa ungeweza kuondoa they have to help you na, na kusema they have got to help you they have got to help you ambayo ina maana ile ile tu wanatakiwa kusaidia au lazima wakusaidie they have got to help you au they have to help you twende mfano wa tatu example 3 example 3 inasema hivi what a loss what a loss inamaanisha hasara kubwa kiasi gani au hasara ilioje what a loss this girl has to tell the truth this girl has to tell the truth inamaanisha huyu msichana lazima aseme ukweli hapa ni has kwa sababu this girl ni mtu mmoja ambaye ni msichana ambapo ni she kwa hiyo utakumbuka kwamba hii she pamoja na it kwa upande wa have zinatumia has kwa hiyo they we i na you zinatumia have lakini hii she na it inatumia has ambapo ambapo inamaanisha kwamba jina la mtu mmoja na kitu kimoja litatumia has badala ya have lakini maana itakuwa ni ile ile tu hii has ni kwa sababu ni this girl lakini maana itabaki pale pale tu lazima has to badala ya have to kwa hiyo this girl has to tell the truth inamaanisha huyu msichana lazima aseme ukweli about the cause of this loss about the cause of this loss inamaanisha kuhusu chanzo au kuhusu sababu ya hasara hii this loss hasara hii kwa pamoja what a loss this girl has to tell the truth about the cause of this loss hasara ilioje au hasara kubwa kiasi gani 
huyu msichana lazima aseme ukweli kuhusu sababu ya hasara hii ambapo has to unaweza kaiondoa pia ukaweka must kwa hiyo inaweza kuwa this girl must tell the truth ambayo inamaanisha huyu msichana lazima aseme ukweli this girl must tell the truth tuendelee na mfano wa example 4 katika mfano wanne tunapata kifuatacho he must be tired he must be tired lazima amechoka au namna nyingine unaweza kusema lazima atakuwa amechoka he must be tired lazima amechoka he works hard from morning to evening he works hard from morning to evening na maanaisha anafanya kazi kwa bidii au anafanya kazi kwa nguvu kuanzia asubuhi hadi jioni kwa pamoja he must be tired He works hard from morning to evening. Lazima amechoka hufanya kazi au anafanya kazi. Wengine wanasema huwa anafanya kazi kuanzia asubuhi hadi jioni. Wengine wanasema tangu asubuhi hadi jioni. Twende mfano wa tano. Example 5. Example 5 inasema if you want to generate if you want to generate an extra income. If you want to generate an extra income. Inamaanisha ikiwa unataka kuzalisha kipato cha ziada extra income kipato cha ziada a business is a must a business is a must inamaanisha biashara ni lazima if you want to generate an extra income a business is a must ikiwa au wengine wanasema kama kama unataka kuzalisha kipato cha ziada biashara ni lazima au ikiwa unataka kuzalisha kipato cha ziada biashara ni lazima if you want to generate an extra income a business is a must tuangalie mfano mwingine ambao ni number 6 it's not an option it's not an option inamaanisha si chaguo it's not an option ambapo it's utakumbuka ni sawa sana kusema it is kwa hiyo unaweza kusema pia it is not an option si chaguo it's a must It's a must na maanisha ni lazima. Ni lazima. It's a must. Ambapo pia unaweza kusema it is a must. Kwa pamoja, it's not an option, it's a must. Si chaguo, ni lazima. Mfano mwingine ambao umetumia must ni huu hapa. Number 7. This book is a must read. This book is a must read must read ina maana ambacho ni lazima usome must read lazima usome kwa hiyo this book is a must read ni sana kusema hiki kitabu ni kitabu ambacho lazima ukisome this book is a must read hiki ni kitabu ambacho lazima ukisome lakini pia hapa kwenye read unaweza kubadilisha na kuweka vitu vingine tofauti kulingana na uhitaji wa kitu usika kwa mfano unaweza kusema this book is a must have this book is a must have ni sana kusema hiki ni kitabu ambacho lazima uwe nacho au hiki kitabu ni lazima uwe nacho this book is a must have kwa mfano pia unaweza kusema this work is a must do kazi hii ni lazima uifanye au hii ni kazi ambayo ni lazima uifanye lakini kio inamaanisha kwamba hiyo kazi ni muhimu sana kiasi kwamba lazima uifanye kama ambavyo hapa pia ni sana kusema hiki kitabu ni muhimu sana kukisoma au hiki kitabu ni kizuri sana kiasi kwamba lazima ukisome this book is a must read mfano mwingine ni huu hapa number 8 number 8 number 8 au number 8 this movie is a must see this movie is a must see filamu hii ni lazima uiangalie au filamu hii ni ya lazima kuangalia this movie is a must see Tuendelee na mfano wa tisa, example 9. Example 9 inasema yafuatayo Do I have to come there? Do I have to come there? Inamaanisha ni lazima nije huko? Au sharit nije huko? Do I have to come there? Majibu yanaweza kuwa kama ifuatavyo. Yes, you have to come here. Yes, you have to come here. Ndio lazima uje hapa au unaweza kusema no no you don't have to come here no you don't have to come here hapana 
si lazima uje hapa au si sharti uje hapa no you don't have to come here just wait for us at your office just wait for us at your office inamaanisha tusubiri tu ofisi ni kwako tusubiri tu ofisi ni kwako kwa hiyo utaona kwamba do i have to maana yake ni mtindo wa kuuliza swali kwa hiyo hapa kwenye i unaweza kutoa i ukaweka you ukaweka we ukaweka they lakini pia ukaweka majina ambayo yako katika wingi ukatumia mtindo huu huu wa kuuliza swali do i have to afu ukaendelea mbele do you have to do they have to do we have to lakini tutaangalia pale ambapo inakuwa ni hii she na it na pale ambapo labda itakuwa ni jina moja tutaangalia namna ya kuuliza swali kwa have to lakini pia ingekuwa ni must ungetoa hii do ukatoa na have to ukaweka neno must hapa mwanzo ni kawa must i come there must i come there lazima nije huko ambapo kwenye majibu ingekuwa yes you must come here no you must not come here No you must not come here. Kwa itakuwa must kwenye jibu lakini la, la kukubali la kukata itakuwa not must not. No you must not come here. Haya maelezo yangeendelea kama kawaida tu just wait for us at your office tusubiri tu ofisini kwako. Tuendelee na mfano wa kumi ambapo pia tutaona sasa namna ya kuuliza swali kwa kutumia she kwenye upande wa have to. Does she have to Utakumbuka kwamba ukitumia does kitendo kinabaki katika hali yake ya kawaida japo kimetumia does itakuwa tayari inawakilisha inawakilisha hivi viwakilishi ambavyo ni she, he na it au jina moja. Kwa utakapo kutumia jina moja baada ya kutumia do utatumia does. Does she have to have a car? Sasa hii hapa have to na have nyingine sikuchanganye. Hii have ni kitendo. Kwa mfano hapo ungetoa have ungeweza kusema does she have to buy kwa hiyo hapa ni kitendo cha kuwa na have kuwa na kitu na hii hapa have to ndio ile ya ulazima kwa does she have to have a car ambayo inamaanisha je ni lazima awe na gari ambaye ni wakike sasa ni lazima awe na gari does she have to have a car majibu yatakuwa kama ifuatavyo kuna jibu la ndio na hapana yes she has Utakumbuka kwamba ukisharudi katika hali ya kawaida tutumia has but I have yes she has to have a car yes she has to have a car ndio lazima awe na gari au ndio shart awe na gari jibu la hapana no she doesn't have to have a car no she doesn't have to have a car hapana si lazima awe na gari no she doesn't have to have a car ambapo doesn't utakumbuka kwamba ni muungano wa does na not. Kwa unaweza kusema no she does not have to have a car. No she does not have to have a car. Tuangalie sasa kipengele cha pili cha hili swali ambapo baada ya kutumia have to unaweza kutumia must na swali likawa must she have a car? Must she have a car? Lazima awe na gari au sharti awe na gari? Yes. She must have a car. Ndio lazima awe na gari. No. She must not have a car. Hapana si lazima awe na gari. No, she must not have a car. Lakini pia wengine kwa upande wa must not must not inaunganishwa na kuwa mustn't. Kwa hiyo ukisikia mtu anasema no she mustn't have a car, ujui ni ile ile. Hapana si lazima awe na gari. Ambapo mustn't ni sawa na must not. Na baada ya kuona sasa kuanzia mwanzo mpaka mwisho hizi sentence kumi ambazo zina nyingine zina vipengele ndani yake nitasoma sasa kwa sentence moja baada ya nyingine ili kukusaidia kujikumbusha kile ambacho tumeki, tumekijadili katika somo hili na uone kwamba kipi unakumbuka na kipi mkino umesahau ili ujue wapi kufanya marudio na kuwekea mkazo katika marudio yako number one, you must be careful about what you say when you are angry au you must be careful of what you say when you are angry Number two, they have to help you because they are your friends. Au pia unaweza kusema they have got to help you because they are your friends. Number three, what a loss. This girl has to tell the truth about the cause of this loss. 
Number four, he must be tired. He works hard from morning to evening. Number five, if you want to generate an extra income, a business is a must. Number five, if you want to generate an extra income, a business is a must. Number six, it's not an option, it's a must. Number seven, this book is a must read. Or this book is a must have. Number eight, this movie is a must see. Number nine, do I have to come there? Yes, you have to come here. No, you don't have to come here. Just wait for us at your office. No, you don't have to come here. Just wait for us at your office. Number 10. Does she have to have a car? Yes, she has to have a car. No, she doesn't have to have a car. Must she have a car? Yes, she must have a car. No, she must not have a car. Must equals mustn't equals must not. Mustn't equals must not.